Hey guys, unfortunately, I was up on the account over 2K today and I freaking blew it. And I think I'm, I'm making serious mistakes with my stops. So I guess I'm glad that I'm trading a combine and, and it's a learning experience. Um, guys, in this video, I want to talk about a concept called paying your taxes. Um, basically, it's just accepting the losses that you have to take and not letting not letting things run too far against you. So, yeah, basically, um, I was longing here. I longed here, thinking that it would come all the way back, and of course, it ended up going all the way down 30 points. And anyways, um, you have to use the stop that is appropriate for your pattern that you're using, and sometimes so. Sometimes the market's going to give you these little reactions and then keep pushing a little bit. Like, let me give you an example of what I mean by paying your taxes. Um, I figured the market would come back up and, and hunt this buy side at the very end of the day, which, as you can see, uh, I played a little bit of that. So I was long here, long here, and I got some of my losses back. I'm going to end up taking a small loss on the day and, and learn from this and come on tomorrow. I'm basically a break-even trader right now with big swings on, on in terms of my P&L. So I guess that's kind of where I am right now is I'm break-even with a lot of violence. Um, what I'm doing is not paying. I'm trying to avoid my taxes. So let me, let me explain what I mean by that. Each one of these black candles price reacted off of. And so I'll, I'll use a multicolored matrix here. You see that? And what price did is, let's say you tried to get long at the pink box. Let's say you try to get long at the pink box and then you use that as your stop. You get stopped out. Okay, like pink box, you get stopped out. You try to get long at, at purple box, the next black candle, you get stopped out again. But you don't know that it's coming all the way down to blue box, basically. These are little, they're little sweeps, they're little stop hunts, so to speak. But the thing is, is that you can't have such a wide stop when you're trading like a combine. Basically, you have to pay your taxes. Like, you're, sometimes the market, like for example, this move right here is basically just a quick pop to take out some short-term stops. And, and frankly, you might just have to pay your taxes with this. So... If you were sitting up there on a one minute chart and you could see that the market was probably going to draw back down to 542 three quarters and let's say that you got somewhere in here you're initially either going to be stopped out break even or you're going to have to pay your taxes um, but then ultimately right you end up you end up getting that that 47 point move lower so what I'm trying to say is that you have to pay your taxes sometimes the market when it's in these stop hunt modes so to speak uh, it, it's just going to curl back and, and do that to you, and you you really can't avoid it. Like, let's say that anywhere in here you you would see that the market was drawing up to that high, right? But what does the market do? Let's say that you have your stop here. It just comes and just pops into your stop, right? And and then it makes the move higher. What you have to do is just pay your taxes. Like, you just get stopped out. It's not always going to do that, guys. Sometimes it's going to make a clean move, and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's going to going to make you pay taxes. So the saying pay your taxes is basically what I'm saying is that you have to use the stop that is appropriate for the pattern that you're using. Uh, and then if you get stopped out on, like, a, a quick pop, like a, you know, a stop hunt basically a stop sweep you have to pay your taxes and then you got to re-enter the market you can't be afraid to re-enter so if you get stopped out here right let's say the you, you get stopped out because you should be using stops fairly tight stops on these combines because frankly right if you're sitting right there and the market's drawing lower there's a lot of equal lows here that the price easily could have kept drawing lower so if you widen your stop too often if you if you get in the habit of widening your stop some of these stop hunts are going to turn into full-on runs on liquidity. So you see what I'm saying? That's why you just, if the market is in the mode where it's going to make it very difficult for you to, to find where the stop really should go, you got to pay your taxes, guys.
there's no other way for me to put that. Like, you have to allow the market to have these little pops and to stop you out, and then you have to re-enter. You know, that's why you have to stick with these ideas. Because if the market is on a day like today where it's not making things easy for you, it's doing a lot of these little stop runs before it's making the move that you expect, the only choice that you really have is to pay your taxes, and you really cannot avoid it. If you try to avoid it, you're going to end up like me with violent P&L shifts, and you don't want that, guys. Because sometimes, like, for example, here, you're not going to get a, like, do you see how there's no, it just goes straight down, right? There was no pop back up to take out short-term stops. But on this move down, there was a pop to take out short-term stops. So here you didn't have it, and here you did have it. And guys, there's really no way for me to tell you like when you can anticipate when it's going to cleanly move and when it's going to stop you out and make you pay your taxes. Uh, ICT might talk about this one day, but, but basically, yeah, if it's going to, if it's going to just hunt short, you should be trailing your stops, guys, and you should be using the stop that is appropriate for your pattern. And if the market comes back and just quickly damages you with a wick, you cannot be af afraid to re-enter the market if, if your original idea is playing out. So, you know, as you can see, for example, like I showed you here, I was trying to get long multiple times and got stopped out. And finally, I did end up in, ended up getting a, a decent sized trade, right? I didn't think it'd come all the way back up here at the very end, but it, it did. Um, you got you just have to pay your taxes. I don't know what to say. The market's just the, the Nasdaq especially sometimes it's just going to curl back and it's going to hunt short term stops and and you cannot avoid it. That's what I've been trying to do and that's why my P and L that's why my P and L swings are so violent. Um, because I'm not paying my taxes. Okay, you have to pay your taxes. What does that mean? If the Nasdaq is going to to before it makes the move that you expect. If it's going to hunt short-term stops and then continue in the direction that you, you think it's going to run, you have to re-enter the market. you got to learn to re-enter the market two, three, four times. There's no other way I can put that, guys. Sometimes you just got to keep re-entering, and, and there's no choice. But you don't want to be in a position where something that's a short-term loss ends up into like a very big loss. You see what I'm saying? you got to just pay your taxes. You have to use the stop that is appropriate for the pattern that you're trying to, to bet on. And then if you get stopped out on a short-term stop hunt, you got to pay your taxes. And it's really frustrating. It's very frustrating. But it's it's better than letting the market run 30 points against you. Okay, and that's what I've been doing. And that's why my P&L is, that's why I'm a break-even trader right now with violent P&L shifts uh, is because um, I'm not paying my taxes. So anyways, guys. Pay your taxes. Let the market. If the market's going to make these short-term runs on stops, you just have to, guys. You got to learn to re-enter. The only advice I can give you with this, and from my experience now, is you just got to learn to re-enter. Use the stop that is appropriate for your pattern. And if you get stopped out on a short-term basis, learn to re-enter the market two, three, four times. Follow the ideas that you have, uh, and wait until the market really proves you wrong. The NASDAQ does this a lot, guys. The NASDAQ will make these short-term pops, and you cannot avoid them. You cannot, you cannot, you just pay your taxes, you cannot avoid them. So I know I've been like repeating myself, but I'm kind of beating it into myself. Guys, with the NASDAQ, the only advice I can give you is let yourself be stopped out, learn to re-enter the market, and pay your taxes.